When I started my exploration in Blender the first time, I want to go through and recognize each of the interface options intuitively and quickly. Some options I recognize, but others I did not. For this reason, here I will summarize that help you to know and recognize to shorten your time learning the interface. The first one is top bar. The top bar is divided into the following section, file, edit, render, window, and help. Under files, you can open new files, open recent files, save, import, and export files, and other options. The next is edit menu. You find uh, the option of undo and redo, uh, history, menu search, and preference. The next is render menu render image, animation, and audio option, and more. And the last one, window menu. There are options to create new window in the workspace itself. This option is very useful when you want to try things out and work on several things at once. You can also switch to the next workspace with the next workspace option. And also this option that I love is the save a screenshot option. Workspace are essentially predefined window layouts. Blender flexibility with areas lets you create customized workspace for different tasks such as modeling, animating, and scripting. Blender also has several more workspace added by default. Modeling for modifying geometry with modeling tools. Sculpting for modifying meshes with sculpting tools. UV editing, mapping of image texture coordinates to 3D surface. Texture paint, tools for coloring image texture in the 3D viewport. Shading, tool for a specified um, material property for rendering. Animation, tools to make object properties time dependent. Rendering, for visualizing and analyzing rendering results. Compositing to combine and um, post-process image and render information. Geometry nodes for procedural and uh, modeling using geometry nodes. And the last one, scripting, programming workspace for writing scripts. The Blender window is divided up into several rectangles called areas. Areas reserve screen space for editors such as 3 Viewer or Outliner. Areas can be customized to match a specific tags called workspace. You can resize areas by dragging their borders with LMB. Move your mouse cursor over the border between two areas so that the cursor change to a double-headed arrow and then click and drag. Each mode is designed to edit one aspect of the selection object. Blender modes, object mode and edit mode. The object mode, the default mode, available for all object types. And edit mode, a mode is available that focuses on editing shapes, vertices, edges, faces for meshes, uh, control points for curves, surface, and more. Now that we know the basics to understand and manage the Blender interface, let's review the camera in the next lesson.